Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Lance 865 truck camper. Let's go ahead and start on the front here. We'll make our way around then head on in. So you will notice they have a front cap on the 865. Nice looking front cap on there. Uh, they have gone to the 3D lettering on the front too. Just kind of gives it that extra look and appeal. As we come underneath, uh, make our way into the bulkhead, you will see that you have the drip rail right here. So uh, any water that does collect will just drain off to the side of the pickup, not down into the truck. Of course, you have your strips right here so you don't bang up the front end. Atwood heavy duty jacks on all four corners. Uh, the thing I like about the Atwood is you can get an app on your smartphone where it's nice and easy to go ahead and control these. So uh, if you don't have access to your remote or if you want a second remote, just pull up the app right on your smartphone and you can easily move that up and down. Moving to the side a little further, right here you do have an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. Right above that is an easy charge. The battery for this unit is located inside, but they do make it nice and easy to go ahead and charge it. You can see, just go ahead and put your connections right there. And as I mentioned, the battery is inside. That's the vent for it, of course, there. Propane tank, 20 pound propane tank over here to the side. Uh, you can see right here, this is a propane quick connect. This is where it stores. So what you can do if you want to hook up a grill or something, you just undo this snap. It will fall right down here. You can see my hand comes through. Just bring it right down. Then you can hook it up right underneath there. That way you can keep the door shut. You don't have to leave it open. Uh, but you know, that prevents anything else from hanging down here. You don't have to have that quick connect, you know, hanging out down here. You can put it right back up there. Uh, I think that's a really cool option that they have done. Something that's a little bit newer uh, on the Lance coach. If you take a look up top, carefree of Colorado power armless awning, just touch a button, it comes out, same thing to go back in. Uh, that does have a wind sensor on it as well. So if it starts to get too windy, it will go ahead and roll itself back in. That way you don't have a damaged awning. Uh, LED light in there as well. So if you do want light off to the side, you can have that. You'll also see two outside speakers. So if you wanna be able to sit out here and rock out, listen to some music, you can do that as well. Uh, those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, however that is Bluetooth capable. You can see your frameless windows here, those are great. Not only do they have a very nice clean look to them, but, but also the seals themselves are behind the glass so it's not getting beat up nearly as much by the elements. And because of the way they open, they tilt open, that allows you to have them open during the rain and you can still have a cross breeze cr uh, coming through. Right here is this uh, location for your sewer hose. Have a nice little place there that we don't have to mix it with everything else don't have to worry about everything else getting gross um, the ladder right here on the back i really like the lance ladder you can see how thick it is of course you just lift this up to drop it down that allows you to easily climb up on the roof uh, but the lance ladder is one where you know i'm i'm a little over 200 pounds i climb the lance ladder i don't feel like i'm going to rip it out of the back of the unit um, so that's definitely good especially if you get up on the roof not just for maintenance but if you're going to a sporting event, you want a better uh, vantage point, something like that, you can certainly go ahead and get up there. Underneath, you'll see right there, nice big storage compartment, which is great. Any storage on a truck camper is huge. Uh, so I love the fact they have the big compartment right there. Now, of course, because this is a Lance, this is four season certified. So if you do plan on camping uh, in the winter or colder seasons, that won't be a problem in the Lance. Also, a couple other construction features. Behind this fiberglass, Lance uses Asdell composite panels rather than Luon. Uh, the couple big advantages to Asdell, one, it's lighter weight, which as you know, any weight you can remove from a truck camper is also a very big deal. Two, it, uh, it's a green material. It doesn't have the off-gassing that Luon has. So when you're in a Lance, you don't have those uh, smells that commonly uh, come along with Luon in an RV. And three, it doesn't absorb moisture. So if you do have any kind of water intrusion in the sidewall, you won't have the delamination that you so commonly see uh, on fiberglass units. So definitely a big advantage to that. Uh, Lance also utilizes the Lance Lock system, which is essentially a metal extrusion where the wall meets the floor. Uh, and it really holds that wall in place, making it one of the most secure truck campers in the industry. Right down here, you can see these are the valves for your dumps, uh, low point drains there as well. Nice and easy to go ahead and access that. 
Uh, up top is an awning, so you can have an awning back here as well if you want. Some lights there in the back as well. So again, if you want some light back here, go ahead and turn those guys on. If come around to the other side, couple features over here. Outside shower with both hot and cold access right there. Underneath, right under here is your black tank flush. So uh, if you're not familiar with the black tank flush, essentially what that does is when you're done camping, you can hook a hose right up to here. That black tank has sprayers built in it. It will go ahead and rinse your black tank out for you uh, just to help get anything else out of there after you dump your tank. So uh, that's always a nice feature to have too. City water hook up here, your cable right there. You can see your cable satellite, 30 amp detachable power cord. And then this right here will be to fill the tanks. But all right, folks, pretty much wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Lance 865. This model is in the all new Roadster interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on the U-shaped dinette. I like the dinette in here, it's very usable. To make it a little easier, give you a little more room back here, you'll see the table does slide out. So that way, uh, if no one's sitting back here, you can kind of slide it over, give you a little more walking space. And again, when someone does get there, just go ahead and move that back out. Uh, this does still drop down into a bed. You can see right down here, you have a couple rails. There's actually a piece of wood that's up by the uh, bed, which I'll show you a little bit later. That will then go in place right here, it has a little leg on there. Fill that in with cushions and that is what creates the bed. Uh, the table is very sturdy, which is great. Um, you know, it, because again, it does slide back and forth. You don't want that wobbling all over. They did a good job there. Right over here underneath, you will see you have your standard electrical outlet. Also next to that, you have a 12 volt as well as two USB ports. So if you need to plug in any kind of uh, cell phone to charge or tablet, you can simply do that right there. So we take a look up top here. <clears throat> this is good extra storage. Go ahead and open these up. So you do have the storage up here. You'll see this piece of wood and that's because this does drop down into a bunk. So if you want that into a bunk, all you have to do, you just undo these two latches right here. Go ahead and do that for you and drop it right down like so. This piece of wood then goes right over here. Now, personal recommendation, you know, I probably wouldn't sleep up here. <laughs> it's uh, kind of a coffin, it's a little bit smaller, but if you have a small child, or even better, if you want that extra storage, this is a great place for it. Uh, you know, if you have longer items, like if you have a bunch of fishing poles, guns, things like that, it does make it nice and easy to go ahead and set it right up here once you get to camp. Uh, so I like that they do have that there. Underneath, you'll see the shades. They've kind of gone to almost this gunmetal color on here, which is pretty cool, helps blend in a little bit better, gives it a nicer look. Magazine rack right over here to the side, as well as uh, your awning control, your awning light, and then the thermostat. Uh, if you take a look across the way, this right here is the bathroom. Go ahead and open this up. Fully wet bath. You'll see your uh, shower drain right down here. Some good standing space there. Your toilet over to the side. Of course, shower curtain here. So you make your way up. You see not only a towel bar, but also they have a removable clothes hanger or clothes rod up there. So I like that they do that as well because if you're not one that uses the shower all the time, you can go ahead and hang clothes up there. Uh, it gives you extra wardrobe space, which is very nice. See the sink here? access underneath in case you have to get to the valves. They did go ahead and build that in. Uh, this, is, you can see it's connected to the back. This is your hand wand for the shower right up top here has its own little holder. Mirrored medicine cabinet, LED light, and then up top you also have a nice big skylight. One other thing of note you will see right down here is um, your heat vent and that's really nice in the winter. So when it's colder, you know, you don't want to pop open the top to get the moisture out. You can go ahead and your furnace will be running. That will help dry it out in those colder months, which is very cool. Making our way over, we step into the kitchen here. Uh, if you take a look up top, you can see good storage right there. It does have a hanging rod, so if you want to use this as a coat closet, you can do that. You can use it as clothes storage, of course, as well. Um, or, you know, you can use it as both. You have enough room here, you can put some food uh, right there down below. And then you have a drawer underneath with your silverware uh, divider already built right there into it. Of course, furnace right underneath here, that's a d their direct furnace, so it is nice and warm right there. And then I showed you, of course, the vent in the bath. So as we take a look at the rest of the kitchen, you will see the new and improved countertops that Lance put in here. It gives it a really great look there. Um, you have your stainless steel cooktop with the lid. Three burner Atwood cooktop, front one is high output on there. And then you have the oven underneath in case you wanna do some baking. 
Now you don't have a ton of countertop space in this floor plan, but they did fully utilizing it, or utilize it by giving you both the cooktop here and the sink top cover as well. If we take this off, take a look at the sink. It is the uh, round single bowl there. Pull out faucet. The thing I like about Lance faucets is this is real hardware. This is residential grade quality, uh, not something you generally see in an RV. And again, of course, a shade here, so lets in a lot of light during the day. LED light here up top for night. Fully functional hood there as well with a light and a fan. You'll see right over here, you have a key ring, so a nice place to easily store all your keys. Up top uh, is your clock, microwave right over here. If we open this up, you'll see some additional storage there with a built-in shelf, which is nice. Your tank monitoring system, a charging center right here, which is cool. You have a 12 volt and two USB ports. The thing I like about that is you kind of have this little shelf right down below. This is a great spot to go ahead and uh, set your phones down and then you can charge them right there. Uh, Jensen Multimedia Center. I talked about this briefly when we were outside. This is what controls your speakers out there. As I mentioned, it is Bluetooth capable. Radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can hook it up and then watch it right there on your Jensen LED TV, which is on a swing arm mount, and it is 12 volt as well. So that way you can run uh, the TV off the batteries. Uh, back to the kitchen real quick. If we take a look underneath here, you will see you have a little bit of storage there as well as access to everything underneath your sink. Across the way is the Norcold three-way fridge freezer combo here. You can see a little drop down freezer action right there. Uh, but of course, refrigerator being three ways, definitely very beneficial as well. Um, <clears throat> one thing of note with the Lance, um, you know, if you want to run 12 volt off of your, uh, or for the fridge while you're going down the road, you want to install the electrical outlet in the bed of the truck itself, rather than taking it around uh, to the back side of the truck. And if you take a look right over here, this is your pull out pantry can see that again good space there so anything you need to set in there you can certainly do that great for canned goods but underneath here as I open this up you will see this is your battery as I mentioned it is stored inside here the disconnect is right down below so that way you can go ahead and pop that uh, if you don't plan on um, you know using it for a while and if that way you uh, don't have a battery draw Underneath the bed, you'll see a foil. That's pretty cool too. That helps uh, keep the, the heat in the bed itself. You know, again, part of that four season package. Uh, it's nice that it does that in case you are camping in cooler weather. Queen size bed here. You have windows on both sides, LED reading lights uh, on both sides of the bed, LED light up top, as well as a skylight here and some speakers. Over to the side, this is the, uh, you see a cushion there, as well as the board I mentioned. Uh, to make the dinette into a table, or into a bed rather. And then up top is some extra storage there. Uh, king jack for the TV on the ceiling as well. Uh, again, folks, this is a 2017 Lance 865 in the new Roadster interior. If you're looking for a non-slide truck camper that allows you to use the bathroom and the refrigerator while you're on the road and still provides plenty of room, this is definitely one you want to take a look at. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.